Hello and welcome everyone. I am Aya Zafar and in today's tutorial we are diving into an essential skill for modern web development with Angular decoding JWT tokens. If you are building or maintaining Angular applications, this is a must watch for you. JSON Web Tokens or JWTs are a compact and self-contained way for security transmitting information between parties as a JSON object. In Angular applications, JWTs are often used for authentication and authorization purposes, making them cornerstone of application security. But why is decoding these tokens so crucial? Well, by learning to decode JWT tokens, we unlock the ability to inspect and use crucial information they carry like user roles, permissions, and other important data that dictate how our applications behaves for each user. Imagine you are building a feature-rich user dashboard or implementing secure login functionality in your Angular application. Decoding JWTs becomes an invaluable skill, enabling you to tailor the user experience based on their privileges, enhancing both security and user engagement. In this tutorial, we will go step by step through setting up your Angular environment, creating a new project and implementing JWT decoding. By the end of this, you will equipped to handle JWTs like a pro, bringing a new level of sophistication to your Angular applications. So whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting out, this tutorial has something for everyone. So let's get started, unlock the full potential of JWTs in Angular. Let's start by understanding what JWTs are and why they are so crucial in the world of web applications security. JWT stands for JSON Web Token, a compact URL safe means of representing claims to be transferred between two parties. These tokens enable secure data exchange. By encoding, transmitting and decoding these tokens, applications can ensure that the data hasn't been tampered with during transit. Now, how does Angular come into play? Angular with its robust framework provides excellent support for handling these J JWTs, it allows developers to integrate JWT-based authentication in their application seamlessly, making it preferred choice for many. Throughout this tutorial, we will explore how Angular can be used to decode these tokens, allowing us to access the wealth of information they contain. Let's get our hands dirty by setting up Angular environment. First, ensure that you have Node.js installed as it's crucial for running angular application so in order to check if node.js is installed you will just run a command in your terminal let me show you really quick so just run the command node and dash dash version will tell you which version you are currently using and npm dash, dash version will also tell you about the npm version and if you want to check if you already have angular installed just run the command angular version just run the command ng version and that will give you a lot of information about the angular that you are currently using angular cli node and npm all together and if you don't have it installed already with node.js in place we will install angular cli the command line interface for angular so in your terminal just run this command npm install dash g angular slash cli press enter and this command globally installs the angular cli i already have it installed so i will not run it again but you just run it and wait for the instructions okay great now we have tools necessary to start building with angular 17 so creating a new project in angular is a breeze with angular cli so simply run ng new and give it the name of your application like this. So you will replace this name with your own application name that you will desire. Angular CLI will set up a new project with all default configurations with directories. So you will notice key folders like source where you uh, your application lives and app which will contain our main application module like we have in our current project that I have already generated with this CLI. A JWT token typically consists of three parts, the header, the payload and the signature. The header typically contains information about how the JWT is encoded. So the payload section contains the claims. Claim are statements about an entity and additional data. And lastly, the signature ensures that the token hasn't been altered. Decoding the JWT token in Angular allows us to access and utilize this payload data, which is often crucial for user authentication and understanding their roles and permissions within the application. Now let's dive into the core part of our tutorial, implementing JWT decoding functionality. We will start by writing the code needed to decode a JWT token in Angular. 
First, we will create a new service in Angular named jwtdecoder.service.ts. This service will be responsible for the decoding logic. So let's generate it really quick. So for that, in your terminal, run a command ng generates s our service and give it a name jwt decoder press enter all right the service has been generated now i will define a function here in this decode token function i will receive a payload that we will name as token the type would be string of this token and let's add a variable base 64 url is equal to token dot split and we will split from the dot and get the array element from the one index and then i will create a variable const base 64 base 64 url dot replace and here i will provide the regular expression dash g and replace it with the plus and again replace the underscore g underscore uh, and g is for global All right next i will create a variable json payload is equal to decode your a component atob function and provided the base 64 and then split it from empty string so that we could convert it into the into the array and use the map function on it and in the map function i will pass uh, a callback function and i will be receiving item and here i will return actually before that let me get rid of this error here i will use join so with this join function it will convert it back to the string so here i will return percentage c dot okay now in the next line i will return json dot parse and json payload so let me quickly explain here what's happening in this code is we import the injectable from angular core which allows us to inject this service into other components or services the decode token method takes a jwt token as input and decodes it to return the payload as json object when we pass jwt token to this method it first extracts the payload part decodes it from base 64 and finally parses it into a json object this object contains all the claims and additional data encoded in the token now that we have our decoding logic let's integrate this service into our angular application so first of all we will inject this service in our component where we want to display this token in decoded form so for that i will be using app.component.ts so here you may use the constructor to inject but in the latest method we will be using the inject function in angular 17 so here i will define a property private jwt decoder service and jwt decoder service uh, actually just use the function inject like this and pass it the jwt decoder service now use the constructor i will decode my token I will pass my token to it and it will give me a response i will save it in the local property that i will define decoded token and let's save it in this variable okay now uh, i need to arrange the token so from this website i can get a sample token you can uh, edit the payload as well if you want to like age so this will generate a dummy token that would be valid so just copy it and i will paste that token here all right so in this component jwt uh, in this component we inject our jwt decoder service on initialization in the constructor uh, the component calls the decode token method with a jwt token and stores the decoded token in the decoded token property this way you can display the decoded information in your components template enabling our dynamic and interactive user experience so let's quickly show it in the html just to see how it looks like okay all right now you can see that i gave it a token in this form and it decoded it back to this format 
that is proper object and you can see the new property age that i added in that payload by the way uh, this is one of the methods that you may use to decode so this is the manual process that you will uh, implement to decode the UGFWT token in angular but there are other ways like in the if you look search in the npm library uh, you will find many other available libraries that are available that you may use if you don't want to write this logic by yourself so here i will search for the json uh, jwt decode search for it you will find many so this one is uh, the most popular as you can see these are the weekly downloads so you can simply download it and follow the instruction this is very straightforward and just one line code so let us just try this one as well uh, just to give you multiple options if you want to use so i will run the command npm install jwt decode okay and we will be following the instructions like these are you just need to import this and it will do the job and you may not need to create any service so that is just a part of explaining so here i will import the jwt decode Actually, let me import it in the component directly as we don't need the service in this specific case so here i will just replace it with json jwt decode okay now if you go back you will still see the object that is being decoded through the token so this is the second method so then maybe other approaches or other methods or other libraries that you may prefer it's up to you now let's put our jwt decoding to use in real world scenario user authentication imagine we have a login system where users receive a jwt upon successful authentication we can use our jwt decode decoder service to decode this token or the library that we just use you can use it directly as well and extract user roles and permissions let's suppose uh, we have the role property in this payload let me quickly add that role admin okay 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 i added the role admin now you can copy the token again and go back here and paste it and this time you will see the role admin in the payload in the json so you can implement your own logic something like for example you can check if this dot decoded token dot role is equal to admin then you can console welcome admin okay or you can directly use it in the html to display the welcome message so for example uh, you can check if decoded token dot role is equal to admin then you can show the welcome message okay now let's see if that is working you can see welcome admin is working let me convert it in the h1 tag to make it more prominent okay so you can see that the role was admin that's why it is showing the welcome admin message so here we after decoding the token we check that the user's role if it's admin we grant them access to the admin specific features in the application so this approach enhances both security and user experience by ensuring that users only access features relevant to their roles before we wrap up let's talk about an aspect as crucial as the functionality itself security when dealing with jwt tokens it's paramount to follow best practices to ensure the safety and privacy of the data first always use https to transmit tokens this ensures that the data is encrypted during transit preventing man in the middle attacks secondly store tokens securely if you are storing them on the client side consider using http only cookies to prevent xss attacks and most importantly be cautious with the sensitive information extracted from the tokens minimize the use of sensitive data and ensure that it's never exposed to unauthorized users let's quickly recap what we have covered today we started by understanding jwt's and their importance in angular applications we then set up our angular environment created a new project and implemented jwt decoding functionality remember the core of jwt handling is not just about decoding but also about ensuring the security and integrity of the information you are working with i encourage you to implement these skills in your projects experiment with jwt's and see how you can enhance the security and functionality of your angular applications if you found this tutorial helpful 
then please hit that like button and leave a comment with your thoughts or questions and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Stay tuned for our next tutorial where we will explore other topics in angular thank you so much for joining me today i hope you found this tutorial valuable and that it helps you in your angular development journey if you have any further questions or need some follow-up feel free to reach out through the comment section until next time keep coding and stay curious goodbye